Good morning, Josh Fralick here, and today I'm down at Stock and Barrel Gun Club putting in a practice session. And what I thought I'd share with you is a couple of the different techniques that I'll use for target transitions in different sports. I transition on hoser target arrays or quick close target arrays differently in USPSA than I do in three gun, and that's what I'm gonna share with you. So in USPSA, uh, accuracy is king, right? Alpha's worth five points, uh, depending if you're shooting major or minor scoring. Uh, Charlie and Delta are worth less and less. And so you wanna shoot the middle of the target, that's where your acceptable sight picture needs to be. That's what your aiming point is on those targets. What, what I'm careful to do is have a focused sight picture so that I can watch that muzzle drop back down after the first shot back into the alpha so I can get the maximum amount of points possible before I transition on to the next target. So it's a little bit more jerky of, uh, of a transition process when I'm shooting USPSA because I need to maximize my points. I typically shoot minor, even with a pistol in USPSA, so it's even more critical because I'd be dropping more points. Now in three gun, uh, while I'm transitioning on these targets, uh, I have the whole target to work with because typically three gun is two on paper or one in the alpha. And so what I use for a transition technique in three gun is really a sweep. Um, I never pause between targets on these close up arrays. I simply continue my transition and I rip the two shots as I'm crossing past the target. So, which that could mean that I'd be shooting on each side of the Alpha, so I could pick up two Charlies or a Charlie Delta, but it doesn't matter in 3-gun because the acceptable sight picture is the whole target. It's all worth the same thing. And so that's why I changed the technique between the sports because the points are different, the scoring's different, and that allows me to speed the transitions up in 3-gun without penalties. So those are the techniques that I use when I'm transitioning in these close-up, fast-shooting target arrays in USPSA and 3-Gun. Uh, give it a try. Hopefully it helps you out in one game or the other. The challenge really becomes when you play both games. Being able to change your technique for the sport you're playing can be a difficult challenge. So if you're playing both and you're struggling with that, my uh, recommendation would simply be stick with the USPSA technique on this to maximize your hits minimize your penalties and uh, really shoot higher scores. But if you can dial it in, you can handle doing both for different uh, games that you play, uh, I would definitely recommend mixing it up when you're shooting different scoring systems. Hope it helps.